Hey guys, this is RC Peck with Fearless Wealth, and it is about 16 minutes past the close of market for the day. It's Thursday, and so I wanted to put a video together and talk with you. Uh, so look, what we're experiencing is a panic. People are panicking, and I want to take a few minutes and talk about what's going on. Um, this is just going to be a short video. I have a long video um, that I have already done for Saturday's posting, and it's in a diff different format, so I'm excited about that. So let's get to this. So look, you're looking at a price chart here. This is the S&P 500 with dividends reinvested. It's the ETF SPY. The first thing I just want you to notice is that this is three and a half years in time, and it's going up and to the right. So obviously we, I'll just say we as in I am the stock market. <laughs> The stock market has just fallen 11.7%, and it's done that in five trading days. So that's pretty impressive. And I believe today was actually the worst fall of the last five trading days. Uh, the first fall was Friday, which wasn't really much of a fall. So it's really been the last four days this week. Um, so first of all, the S&P 3000 which is where this price has fallen to. Now this is SPY, but let me just bring up SPX, the actual index, we can look at it that way. So SPX, this is the index. This is 3000 right where my horizontal line is. The price is just a tinch below that, uh, 22 points below that, so not much below that. So the first place the market would have always wanted to have gone was to test that that 3,000 number. And 3,000 is not an exact number, right? It's 3,000 maybe plus or minus 30 points. And that's, in fact, where the market has stopped. So that's the first place. And whenever I talk to people in my training about, you know, how do I, how do I filter out the noise? And one of the first things I train them to do is, well, find a point where if it stays above it, it's fine. Now, 3,000 on the S&P was that and we've hit that already. So tomorrow's gonna be Friday, so we'll see how people behave going into the weekend. If it breaks below 3,000, this is not the end of the world. All right, the end of the world's the end of the world. The next major support area is right around the 2850. That's a really interesting spot because it gives us the January 2018 high, which is this one right here. But it also, if you look here, it also gives us a lot of these. This is August of last year, this triple bottom in August. So the 2850 is a very interesting spot. So if the price does not stop falling at right around the 3000, the next place it's going to want to go is the 2850. Now, any fall below 20 percent, um, first of all, every fall feels scary. The more you watch, the scarier it is. I'm not saying you should watch it more or less. Actually, I am. Um, it's better, of course, if you have a plan. Most people don't have a plan. But here's something that I noticed that is really interesting. This is becoming a stock market fall and, and nothing more, meaning money is not plowing into bonds right now from a price point of view or the US dollar from a price point of view. Like if I if I bring up, let's see, give me a second here. If I bring up, let's see if this is the 27th. Now this is the 26th, so I need to bring up UUP. So if you look at UUP here, the price is actually down. The price is actually falling for the US dollar during this panic. Uh, I'm just gonna call it a panic. And so the price, let me, that's, February 21st right there. So the dollar has been falling through this panic. Um, that's unusual, right? Because when people really panic, they panic into US dollars. Um, but that's not happening right now. The other thing that's interesting is, um, oops, I mistyped that. This is BND, which is basically the S&P 500 for the stock market. So during the last five trading days, and let me just go over to my other screen because I want to get something so I can be so the 20th. Okay, so on the 20th, let's get to about the 20th. It's hard to see. I'm just going to put in my blue lines there. 
it's hard to see that. Basically, I'll just do it this way. Anything above that horizontal blue line is where the bond market has gone since this 11.5% fall. So yes, it's moved higher, and it's just this little section. Actually, let me zoom in because I just I want to just I want to make my point clear. So here is the twentieth, right here. That's where the fall started for stocks. And what's interesting is bonds have only gone up 0.67 percent. Now this is B and D, so it's the S and P five hundred of all the bonds, okay, in the U.S but it's only gone up 0.67%. That's not much considering the market has basically just taken it on the chin. If I zoom back, I wanna give some reference here. This is the bond market. I wanna show you a, a time period, SPX. I wanna show you a time period where the market fell and bonds went up much harder. So let's do, Let's see if this one, May 2nd, 2019. So May 2nd, 2019, May 2nd, 2019. So bonds from May 2nd forward moved up during that correction. All right, just in this May 2nds right here to June, that, that move in bonds alone was about 2%. Now I know we're talking small percentages, but the point I wanna make is the panic seems to be accelerating in stocks only, not in all assets, right? If the panic was accelerating in stocks and also accelerating in the other assets, it would be different. But this is starting to feel like a pure stock panic. Um, doesn't make it any better, uh, but it may talk to the length of it. And one thing I've been thinking a lot about lately is the stock market needs to scare people out of it. I'm just getting back to a price chart of the stock market. Give me a second. Here we go. One of the jobs of the stock market is to scare people and to scare enough people so it can go higher. Um, as of right now, I don't see this turning into a crash. To me, a crash is 50%. Um, I just want to see what this market would do if it fell to the low of December 2018. I mean, there, if it fell to the low of December, I mean, that's a 30% fall. Um, I, I do not foresee that happening. Um, and the more this becomes a stock market fall only, um, the more it just looks like a pure panic. And the reason I keep pointing it out to you is because then it's, it's less systemic and it's more stock only. So I'll keep you up to date on what's going on. I got the post coming out on Saturday. I do a deep dive on what's going on. Um, and I'll speak to you then. All right. Thanks guys. Again, this is RC Peck with Fearless Wealth. Take care.